Oh, yeah, what's going okay, on? Okay, so for so for reference, um, I added this guy Underhaven once before. Todd might be familiar with this story. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah. So. Yeah. His. St- so I said this guy got caught. He admitted to it in a video that, or in a Discord that was recorded that he had a relationship with a with an underage person, or a female, and nudes were exchanged. He's confirmed all of that now. But after the fact, he changed his story to say, well, we were both minors at the time. Part of what I'm going to do here is going to is I'm, I'm going to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that he, in fact, was not a minor at the time because I was struggling to try to find a way to show that he's not <laughs> that he wasn't a minor at the time without overtly doxing him. So I, fo- I found a way to do it. It took me a while, but once I figured out how to do it, it took me like 15 minutes to find everything I needed. So this is Mothra J. He's mad at Tragic right now. He's t- uh, and um, and uh, Negs. And if you don't know who those people are, you don't really need to know, except for they're involved in the drama community and they're kind of like they kind of like beef with the Geek Room and I guess drag or maybe Black Eye TV people like that, right? So. <clears throat> Mothra J is one of these people from the drunken peasants diaspora, like myself and a number of the other channels that I mentioned, who, um, the, who kind of grift off of uh, fake drama on the internet, like the Shani, like the like the Brett, like the Von Helton, like emo Howling Wolf. I'm and dreaming of a Jewish Christmas. Wonderful. Thank you for interrupting me. Anyway, of course. So, <laughs> anytime, right? So um, he's he went into Neg's Discord server and he started pulling shit. So I at one point Frank from the Geek Room had posted something that was from the Discord, and you're looking at it right now. It's on screen. He had pulled that and put it on his community tab, right? And we're gonna get to it, but I posted something in response. The reason that I said it, boy, it would be a shame if someone mass flagged Frank's channel or anyone that was connected to him was because when they, first of all, they, they outright said that they had flagged Neg's channel and then they laughed about it. That's why I said that. And I said that, and, and I think he's going to show it here, but I said that it actually would be a shame because we're not supposed to be playing the flag each other fucking game over dumb shit. Because you're all part of the same React community. Some guy has beef with one guy, another guy has beef with another. They punt it back and forth, and they all talk shit about Shanty. That's how it works. That's how it's supposed to work, anyway. So that I think that covers. I think that covers everything. But all of these people um, basically played zone defense for Underhaven, which Boy, is the guy, smear. <laughs> which is the guy who had a relationship while he was an adult or the minor on a discord exchanging nude photographs. They are all connected. And this guy, I'll just play it because I think we're right where we need to be. It is Will fucking Kincaid. I decided to end this shit with Will Kincaid's exploits in the discord. So we hear, we already see Will threatening the mass flag people. Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't a funny threat. because now I wasn't even implying that somebody should do that. And I even explained that, and you're going to show it, gloss over it, and not even mention it. That's what they're planning on doing. They tried to do the shit last night with Draven with a false claim that there was nudity when no nudity was involved. There's other, Also, they're claiming each other. that Now everybody's DMCAing each other. In fact, um, I've, seen, I've seen the fucking, on Tragic side, I've seen uh, that Brand, or Frank from the Geek Room filed copyright strikes against fucking um against tragic and then i i saw what he uploaded it was this weird thing with frank in a vr chat talking about grabbing people's i think he, the exact phraseology was wee wee's uh well there is an obvious minor also in the vr chat so that's what that's what <clears throat> they keep getting flagged over and now everyone is ma- everyone is mass dmcaing and flagging each other on both sides and it's just a fucking mess but, like, let's ignore that. Uh, this person, once again, don't know. They were complaining that... And, and yes, I'm, I'm well aware he warms up to the lulz cows. I'm, 
It's true. It's true. I, I, for a while there, I was hanging out with Brett Keen. I do have Von Helton in occasionally. Not anymore since he blocked me on everything for a laugh. Like when uh, Revolver Bernie was in here last time and we were fucking on Von. Like I, like, I believe I had even told Revolver Bernie that's, a, that's what we were doing. But whatever. Anyway. I'm well aware. And yes, DC Media Girl, they, they do get this bad. So, for those of you who are uninitiated, uh, Will Kincaid joined Negs's lying about Underhaven, claiming she was a pedophile. Well, here's the other thing, too, is there's a video on Underhaven's channel explaining that Underhaven does not identify as a woman. That, the, that they're, um, they don't give a shit about pronouns. And that the female mascot that they use is just that, a mascot. But it's it's it has nothing to do with their gender identity or whatever. So, um, anyway. And then in real time, Baby Jane was correcting him on his bullshit, and that Baby Jane's evidence that he's not a pedophile is that Underhaven told her that he wasn't a minor. That's it. That's the beginning and end of all of the evidence that they have. He was lying, and that the the relationship between Anna and somebody else in question was when both of them were minors. Okay, so here's where we come to the thing that I've been waiting to do all night. I'm going to go get the fucking screenshots here quick because this is kind of fucking rough. So, the incident with Kivel, and Kivel was... Uh, this is what I'm going to allege, and then I'm going to bring... Um, I'm going to... I'm going to prove it. Kivel claims and Underhaven has confirmed that she was a minor in middle school at the beginning of this going into high school. And for the entire duration, Underhaven, this is my assertion, was 19 fucking years old. And we're going to use some very basic math and screenshots to prove this. So, here, let me go get the first one here, because this is... Does anybody have anything to say? I know that was really long-winded before we get into it while I'm looking for these. Nothing? Okay. Well, it's yeah, still Seth, take you're me. muted there, Seth. That, that channel I was talking about on YouTube is called LC Predator Catchers. If you, uh, if you ever get interested, the dude just... He's one dude, and he just busts them. And they, it does lead to arrest some of the times, too, so... It's pretty awesome. So, hypothetically, if you were inclined to... If you were just having a look around Underhaven's channel and you click their Amazon link, their wish list, what you would see is this. This is what you would see. And lo and behold, here's Anna Haven. There's a description of what they are. So this, that, the other thing. And then above that, there's a name here. I didn't put that name there. You can go to their YouTube channel right now and click their Amazon link. And it'll say Damon LaRue. Right there. I'm not doxing anybody. They put it on their channel. This is a Ronnie situation, all right? Where you go and put all of your fucking dumb shit out there on the internet. And then, and then cry foul. So. I, I, like I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be too worried about doxing a pedophile there, though. No, I mean, uh, I'm, my lawyer has already explained to us once before over a different incident that there's no expectation of privacy on the Internet. Um, that, there are right. certain nuances to that, but in general, all of the information that we got is kosher. Okay, next slide. Uh, it's not going to let me use the keyboard, apparently. Okay. Uh, so I just typed in Damon LaRue face, uh, Facebook. I got a couple of things here. Uh, let's see, next slide. Uh, eventually, when you click one of those three links there, you'll go here. And you'll see, you'll see this. So that is his name. That's his old icon when he was going under Animancer. So that's confirmed. Okay. So I, I was wondering when his birthday was. So on Google, I typed in Animancer birthday. And it's somewhere around here. April, somewhere between somewhere in April, or at least I thought it was. 
One of the other links that I found here was the, uh, it, you'll see here, and I'll blow it up because it's kind of small on your end. Um, apparently it just, apparently zooming out increases the size. Nope. I, mm. Well, anyway, that's dumb. Um, so anyway, it says here, we're joined by Jeff Holiday and Jade Darke to celebrate Animancer's 21st birthday. So I was like, well, that seems important. So in 2019, Animancer is 21 by at least June. Going back to Facebook, if you go over to photos, it'll show a whole bunch of photos. Now, how do I know this is him? Because there's photos of him on the internet that he put out there himself that were used for an exposed video that was done several years ago when this popped off. Uh, that's towards the end there, but we'll, I'll show you again when we get there. All right. I, I put a slide over this person's face because I didn't want anything going on. Um, you'll see that the candles here, I know that it looks like it's a, an upside down backwards L there, but for those of you who are familiar how uh, mirrors work, uh, you'll see that <laughs> this person says 40, and this person says 17, and the date is somewhere around April 25th, 2015. And there's the exposed video right there. Um, let me zoom this in again, because it's all cocked. There he is. There's Underhaven, a.k.a. Anime. <laughs> this is somebody obviously clipped his face out. And if you go back here, you'll see that they've actually gotten it from exactly where I got it from. So if he was 17 and 2015, I mean, I doubt that he staged this photograph as part of some gay op to, to try to make it. Right. There's n almost no fucking way he wasn't. So that makes his birthday somewhere between April and June of 1998, which would make him how old in 2017? What's the answer? 19 years old. Thank you. You can all kindly fuck off now. I also have more. I don't want to dox his fucking high school, but I also found his graduation year, which would make him 18 and the year he graduated, which is 2016. I have proof. I have even more than this. I swear to God, if one more fucking person says that he was a minor in 2017, that when he was having a relationship with Kivel, a minor, in middle school, I'm going to fucking stab myself in the balls. I'm done. Man, I'm fucking good. I didn't have to do anything more than 15 minutes worth of Google searches, and if Frank or any of these other cocksuckers had done the same, they would know that for a fact, that Underhaven was a, an adult when he had a relationship with a minor. I'm done. That's it. Does anybody have any... Does somebody, somebody want to try to falsify this for me? Does anybody want to falsify math? I mean, one plus one still equals two, right? I mean, like, if you subtract yeah. the numbers... Yeah, yeah. Up, kind of it all to yeah. Well... I'm not 17. sure I'd, it rises to the level of pedophilia right there, but that, that would be Well, maybe pederasty. Format. I mean, yeah, he I mean, exchanged nude photographs with a minor and admitted to it. Yeah. Pederasty, yeah. I'm going to, yeah, so hold on. Let me get all this well, shit off the My screen. whole thing was uh, the, the whole age comparison thing is that minds develop at different rates as you, oh, as you grow up. Yeah. And when you start getting to those teenage years, they, they grow, your mind grows really fast. So somebody that's 18 having sex with someone that's. Well, I 13, want to reiterate that he didn't instance. actually have well, sex hold on. with this girl. It's a whole lot crazy. different. It's a whole lot different than somebody that's 50 and, and with somebody that's 40. I mean, there's a huge difference there. You have to account maturity. So a 19-year-old having a relationship with a 14-year-old, where do you put that on the creep meter that, that, I put that as evil. I, it's wrong. Okay, thank you. I would agree. I would yeah. agree. Thank you. Their mind doesn't develop very much. That's the point that I'm making. It hasn't developed an, fully. <clears throat> and that's that's the problem that I that I see in it inherently. It doesn't matter with three, four, five years. It's, it starts getting real weird. You know, I, I'm not going to say anything about, like, a 17-year-old dude and a 15-year-old girl. That's obviously whatever. But you know what I'm saying. 
All right, so here's the video in question of him admitting, just in case anyone who's uninitiated who hasn't seen me play this a thousand times doesn't, because he's going to, Underhaven, who's going by Animancer or Fancy Badger at the time, admits to doing this. So this is not me saying he did it. This is him saying he did it. So here we go. It's a joke. That's bullshit, dude. Yeah, fuck Jay Darkay. He's not allowed to make jokes. Only me and, and Honest Red and Billy the Fridge. We're the only Honest ones allowed Red's to make video, fucking jokes on the internet. We're allowed to make fun of mentally ill people on the internet. Fa this is the point. Fancy had relations with a minor. Now, I don't know whether this... Fancy is, by the way, the name he's going under. It's true or not. If it's Fancy. true, then I think it would be wise to stop it. If it's not true, then I don't. Then I would like to hear it so that everybody knows that. Um, but the thing is, I don't really see why this is a problem. So first, I want to know why. Yeah, I knew it was changed. That's why. Okay, but first of all, what uh, what fancy? Um, I know this is kind of a personal question, but is it true? Is it were there was there and it's any of what they just said is there any truth to it? Yeah, yes, but it happened quite a while ago, and they're clearly Last just taking this back. Okay, they're so there's taking this back up. Fuck. We have okay, so okay, so he says it happened quite a while ago. Except in this video, you're gonna see some some obviously censored screenshots for because of the the nudes and stuff. You're gonna see some censored screenshots with some timestamps showing exactly when these two people were in communication engaging in uh sexual dialogue so there 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 is no like okay so there is no relationship with you between a minor now no okay there's okay oh on his friend you, did you you said about it uh yes i can confirm that me myself and i me coast kibble and all that shit we're all the same person ever tell him that because I didn't want him to know and show up in where I was going to be going to school. Um, me living in it is already public information, I know, because I've told people. But I didn't expect All the time stamps. where I'm going to go to university. In case you're looking for this video, ever, it's on I didn't expect Honest Red's channel. It's called uh, They Speak. It'd be easy to find. It's like the last video he posted. My bio to be public. And also, I know the validity of the screenshots that you've posted because I took them. I was the one that shared those. I was the one that took it because, you know, guess what? Uh, you know, I wasn't that friendly with Damon three years ago, and I'm still not that friendly now. Is there anything in my video that's inaccurate that I... Or anything like that? Um, I mean... No, I'm, no, like, your video is pretty accurate. The screenshots are accurate because I was the one that kind of provided them to the internet. Uh, what you said at the ending, though, about him just now talking to other girls, I can't verify if that's true because I haven't talked to, like, Damon consistently. Yeah, so I can't verify if any, like, he's done this to other girls in, like, the recent history of, like, a few months, but I know he did, like, talk to me and Harley and Di, if you remember who she is. So, again, Kevil was a minor in 2017. She, well, like I said, from, from uh, her last year in middle school, to uh, her first year in high school. So, over a year, this went on. And to say, like, to, let's say you're in a relationship with somebody. One of the first things you ask somebody is what their fucking birthday is. And if it's not, you ask sometime within the first year, I would assume. I mean, you really can't feign yeah. ignorance on this one. Now, whether, no. you, okay, Todd made the point that, okay, maybe that's not pedophile, maybe it's pederasty or some, some other thing, right? Well, pederasty is men they, with the, boys. I think you're looking for a hemophilia. Oh, like, yeah. Like, like, like not, prepuces, not prepubescent children. But, yeah, we did know, go, hemophilia, younger, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we went through but this once before you know, and I get I'm, a moment. I'm, I'm picking I don't fuck here. kids, so I don't know. I'm sorry. No. I don't have to know for <laughs> court, all right? Well, technically it was hemophilia. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. so uh, the, the point is that they said that I lied about him being an adult in a relationship with a minor. That all I had to prove was what I just proved, that he was an adult when she was a minor. Now, she could be lying, 
But then why would well, she could be lying about her being a minor? But why would Fancy then admit to being in a relationship with a minor? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Were they both lying about her being a minor? In which case, wh- why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, I, th- I think Seth nailed it when he like. There's a big difference between 19 and 17, and 19 and 13. Th- right. Those those are two completely different things, and you know, so yuck. I- I, I like that Todd's here because Todd would absolutely call me a fucking dipshit if I was off base on this. Yeah. So. Yeah, and now, and now I'm warming up to the. You're spot on. Uh, thanks. I'll hear all about this tomorrow. I'm sure. I, will you? I, I, <laughs> sure. You're warming up to that guy. You're warming up. <laughs> well, what? Well, listen. I've I've heard I've heard that shit before about John too. Like me and John. Like I, and people say that about Von Helton. But I, I got off Von Helton a while ago. I like with Brett and Vaughn and John, I, I like legitimately thought that I could help these fucking people. And with Vaughn in the beginning, I doubted the claims until I saw the Kelly files. And Lowe had claimed that he had shown me the Kelly files before, but I don't fucking remember. Yeah. Like, like, I probably wasn't paying attention, to be honest with you. That is not uncommon. But when I actually sat down and watched the whole thing, I was like, um, this is fucking, this is too much. And I was bitching about John being friends with Von Helton. Like, it would be different if Von Helton was just an asshole or wrong or an idiot, right? But when you get got kids involved, it's too much. So, it is what it is on that. Okay. Well, at least I know I, did, I, 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 I wasn't off base on this. And I, I was worried about not doing a good job fucking showcasing this nonsense. So, I'm happy about it. It really is. I know people are going to say and, and do this thing where they, they'll say, well, well, what about what about Will Kincaid with Von Helton? What about Negs and Tragic and, and this other thing? Uh, like, because they're saying that it's like, oh, it's clout chasing. The whole, the whole reason that I've done this is because I'm cl- chasing clout. I had made those videos about Underhaven long before anyone had been saying anything about it. There was a huge lull between... When it happened originally in 2017 and 2020 or 21 or whenever I put that video out, the whole reason that Negs approached me is because somehow they had gotten a hold of that information and they saw that this guy was in the, the Underhaven was involved with Frank, who they hate. So they've got their own personal hate boner for Frank that I have nothing to do with, right? But doing this whataboutism is kind of just going to be dodging the point. And I know it's coming because they've already done that once before. So they were like, well, did you file a police report? Yes, I did. I've had this information on Fancy about where he lives and all this shit for a while. So I, that was the first thing I did. And it was explained to me that there's nothing they can do legally unless a victim is willing to come forward and say that they did this thing, Right. So I spoke to the victim. I said, would you be willing to go on? Because I said, if you think, I started with, do you think that Fancy, a.k.a. Underhaven, is still engaging with minors? And they said, I I have reason to believe that that is the case. Yes. I said, well, you wouldn't want this done to some other kid, right? So you should file a police report. And they said, well, well, one of them said that they didn't want to, they it's in the past. They're just moving on with their life. They're in college in this whole thing, right? They said they just want to move past it. The other one said that they were being strong-armed and or blackmailed. They wouldn't say specifically what it was. And wow. that's why they wouldn't. So, like, because my concern is because, like with the Drunken Peasants, where Discord, which is where this originally had happened, they, he has access to their discords, a bunch of different discords that undoubtedly have minors in them. He has access to minors. And, he has, and now he has clout. He's a cool guy with Frank and, and a number of these other people. So now he has status. And a minor might look at something like that and decide that they're going to, to start talking to this guy. My concern is the, that there might be more victims out there and that by, by doing this, you might be creating more victims. Well, that's, that's probably that's, his whole point. You know what I mean? He, he's doing. He's probably trying to get get a name for himself. So that was can. my entire concern. It wasn't about clout chasing. It wasn't about. Clearly, it's not about views. If you've seen the state of my channel, right? So, right. You know, 
that that's all I, I think that's all I wanted to say about that. Yeah, that's it. I think I'm just going to close with how I opened or how I closed the first video I made about Fancy. And so uh, Fancy is purple. Will Kincaid's mean, but the age of consent still ain't 14. All right. Thanks for being here, guys. Uh, I hope you have a lovely <laughs> Christmas. And uh, and uh, I'll be back before the new year. I'll be there on the 30th situation. So I'll see you around, individuals. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care.